Hi there everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So the title of this reading is You and Them, The Next 48 Hours. So all you need to do for this reading is think about this person, just picture them in your mind, and then choose between set of cards number one, set of cards number two, or set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that now. So now I'm going to place aside set of cards number two and a set of cards number three and go ahead with a set of cards number one. So, you know, the energies between you two in the next 48 hours, what may develop? So as I place the cards down, I'd like to quickly mention if you'd ever like a highly personalised video recorded reading with me, all of the details to book via Etsy or PayPal are in the description box below. I also offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours. So let's take a look here. This card here represents you and your energies in this connection. This card here represents them and their energies in this connection. Your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, your present together, your future together, and the outcome card, and our clarifying cards. This uh, card here is from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck, and this card here is from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck. And both of these decks just have some wonderful channeled messages. So let's take a look at the energies between you and this person that's on your mind over the coming 48 hours or so. You and your energies. Them and their energies. Okay, so both of you are being represented by Cups energy. This is, you know, quite clearly a, a, a loving connection. There's a lot of love between you two. Um, so please, please be aware of that. The, you know, these are the uh, outstanding energies here, you know. Um, you're being represented by the Five of Cups, you know, and there's no denying. I, I can, you know, for those of you that it's resonating with, I, I can see that you you are in not the best place right now. You know, it's it, it's kind of like you're looking down at these cups, you know, that have fallen over. There may have been a fallout, um, a disconnect, or, you know, what you were hoping to happen hasn't happened. It may be, you know, the energy that's coming through is this person that you, you really expect and more, okay? You're expecting more from them, maybe more from this connection. Um, and, you know, as, as of yet, this has not come to fruition. Uh, what the universe wants you to know always with the Five of Cups is that, you know, the love still is there, that, you know, maybe you're not feeling it right now, maybe you're not in a connection right now, um, but th there certainly is love in this connection between you two. There's two cups still standing. And, you know, for them, look at this. This is wonderful. It, you know, it's the Page of Cups. Uh, this is this is the card of new love. This is how they feel about you. Uh, they, you know, they do want. This is how they're feeling. This is their energy in this connection. Um, you could both be water signs, you know. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, you don't need to be. I just sense there's a real depth to your connection. It's undeniable. Um, you know. It truly is. that There could be some miscommunication going on here. Let's take a look at the past position. Uh, okay, so we've got the Two of Pentacles. More emotional energy. Um, you know, we look at the Two of Pentacles. We see, you know, you're feeling ungrounded. Both of you in the past position. The Pentacles are off balance. We've got the very turbulent water in the background here. Um, you know, you know, ships are being, you know, thrown all over the place in the background here. You can see it. So I can see that something could well have happened between you two that's really quite turbulent and it's really throwing you off balance. Um, let's take a further look now. Your energies towards them, the Ten of Pentacles, their energies towards you, the Queen of Wands. 
wow, that you know, I'm loving this. I'm, I truly am. You know, I can see that you want the long haul with them. Okay, your energy towards them, the Ten of Pentacles, typically in tarot, known as the retirement card. Um, you know, two people, you know, having a, a very lo lifelong relationship. And, you know, uh, there they are, you know, being surrounded by everything they could possibly want. And, you know, gaze, gazing lovingly at each other. Um, you know, is there some doubt here with you? Um, because what you need to know is... There's, there, there is no doubt with them, no matter what, what they're displaying to you right now, deep down, the feelings are there, you know, th this is wonderful energy, they, they just, it's kind of like I see them as putting you on a pedestal here, okay, the queen of wands energy, you could be a fire sign, um, Leo, Aries, Sag, um, and they could be an earth sign, so uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, um, and you know, this is them looking at you and just seeing, you know, I'm just seeing, you know, sex on legs here, you know, you're, you know, there's parts of your character that are really turning them on here, I'm seeing that very, very much, wow, very, very passionate, that they're very passionate towards you, no matter what your history, whether this is new or an established connection or a connection that's broken down, um, you know, they, 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 death, they, they do, they do want you, you know, they, this is what you need to know, this is what's coming out here very strongly, let's take a look here now, seven of cups energy, wheel of fortune, eight of swords, so what I'm seeing here is this real, oh wow, the, the, the connection between you two, very strong, very powerful, but there's confusion, okay, you know, it's so often the case and it's coming through really strongly for those of you who chosen this set of cards is you know it, it you're kind of looking at the other person you're both doing it saying but do they want me but do they want me and um, this is what's kind of um leading to this disconnect or things not moving any further um or you know just a lack of sharing of feelings here uh this is what the seven of cups is all about you know, it is, and I feel this could be your energy a lot as well, like you're just very confused about this connection and about where it's going, okay? Um, what I can see going forwards is there is going to be a big turning point because we have the, the Wheel of Fortune here. This is ominous. This is good ominous, okay? Um, you know, this does represent its major arcana energy. It's kind of like the beginning of the end of one life cycle, the beginning of another, um, a big turning point, a good omen. Um, I like it, but in the next 48, nobody's saying it, okay? Um, we've got the Eight of Swords here, okay? Which is, it's mental energy, um, we could be dealing here, you know, you could both be uh, signs, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius don't need to be, um, but uh, yeah, there's, there's no shift, the energies are there, the feelings are there, but it, it's not shifting in this next 48, uh, what do we have here, grounding and oath, oh wow, the, it's about you two coming out of being high up in this sort of kind of distressed mental emotional state okay so that you two can come together in the, on the physical plane okay and you it's kind of like i see going forwards that you you're gonna be you're sort of declaring exactly how you feel you're going to be saying it to each other okay uh because the energy here is getting very you know it's very earthy we've got the card of grounding okay and we've got the card of oath so it, I'm seeing like heartfelt discussions here, so, you know, moving out of this eight of swords where nothing's being said to the point where everything just gets said and, um, and it's really positive. Okay. Um, so wow, that, that's been, um, quite an incredible reading, very powerful, um, uh, what I've decided to do is, uh, if you found this reading resonated for you, um, I've got another free reading on YouTube. It's the first 
a link in the description box below and that one's titled does he or she miss me and what's next for us and it's for the whole month of September so I just thought it would be uh, you know a nice follow-on from this uh, reading but it's about you two coming out of the emotional confusion getting grounded and speaking face to face this is what I'm seeing going forward for you two I just don't see it shifting in the next 48 but there's going to be a hell of a turning point coming forwards um, for you two, okay? Um, okay, so now I'm going to move on to set of cards number two. So, moving on now to set of cards number two. The title of this reading is You and Them, the next 48 hours or so. The energies between you two, what may develop. So as I place the cards down, I'd quickly just like to mention, if you'd ever like a highly personalized video recorded reading with me, all of the details to book via Etsy or PayPal are in the description box below. I also offer um, a video recorded five question reading, uh, which has a delivery time of within 24 hours. And again, all the details to book are in the description box below. But now I really want to get, uh, get along with this um, set of cards number two, you and them, the next 48 hours. So this card here represents you and your energies in this connection. This card here represents them and their energies in this connection, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, your present together, your future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in a literal sense, <clears throat> but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. <clears throat> Pardon me. We have uh, a card here from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck, and one here from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck. And both of these decks just have some wonderful channeled messages. So let's take a look. You and them, the next 48. You and your energies in this connection. Them and their energies in this connection. Wow. So what I'm seeing here, you know, the Hierophant, as regards you, you know, you want stability, security. Um, you know, you want this to, uh, you're looking for a very kind of traditional, you know, connection here with this person. You know, the, the Hierophant often does even speak of, you know, uh, marriage, you know, it, it, and, uh, you know, just a, a very solid, solid, solid connection here. Um, beautiful. Um, and with them, you know, I'm liking this. We've got the Three of Cups. This is beautiful energy. It's heart energy because it's cups energy. Um, and this is about uh, being supported, okay? So whatever this connection is between you two, when they think about you, they feel supported and they feel like you're there for them. And um, this is also massively the card of friendship. So there's a, a, a real depth, a heart and soul depth to this connection. Um, it's beautiful. Um, so let, let's keep going. The past position. Okay. Your feelings towards them. Their feelings towards you. So this could well be, okay, for a portion of you, that they, they could be in an existing connection um, that, that they're kind of like it's going to take time for them to move away from. There's something preventing them coming towards you right now. We've got that emperor card in the past position. Um, and, you know, the emperor energy is the card of, you know, structure, duty, respect. It, so it can represent, like, um, you know, a, a specific issue or reason that needs to be respected, okay? Um, so the, it could be third party. Um, what you need to know is that for that portion of you, they know that they, they, they feel as though that they're gonna be able to, to achieve this with you, okay? They do feel, but they feel that it's gonna take time. 
Um, now, for others of you, you two have been in a very, very solid connection um, or are in a solid connection. And this is just telling me that they, they very much want everything with you to be beautiful. You know, their energy towards you. It's the temperance energy. It's major arcana. It's <clears throat> when they look towards you, they see just beauty and harmony and this beautiful intertwining of of yours and theirs energy okay um and it's it, it's just it is incredible energy from them towards you no matter what your background um and you know your energy towards them again more major arcana energy it's kind of like you just look at them and think wow you know it's kind of like you see just everything to do with them is just so beautiful and um you i feel that you're you're in love with them okay and what you need to know is that, that there is this energy you know from them towards you is have things been off balance okay because they want to bring them back into balance you need to know that um let's keep going oh right so things may well have been off here um, definitely, we've got the Five of Swords, quite harsh energy. They want to, whatever's happened, they want to bring it back in to balance with you. Um, and again, Five of Swords can very often represent third party situations, okay? Um, so, you know, but what you need to know is that they're, they're trying to make their way towards you, no matter what's gone on here, whether there's been an argument, um, a disconnect, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. They want to bring everything, they want to bring things back into balance with you. They want harmony with you. They see you as their nurturer. Okay, absolutely. Um, let's take a look. Judgment. Okay. The fool. Okay. That the, They're going to be making their way back towards you. Could For some of you, it could even happen in this coming 48 hours or, you know, or slightly beyond that. But there's... I feel for some of you there's definitely been an argument here. Um, there was stability. Now there isn't. But it's coming back in. This is what you need to know with this uh, judgment card. Uh, followed by the full energy. This is just wonderful. Um, really, really nice. Okay. They, I feel this is their energy. Them, you know, managing to let go of, you know, whatever's happened between you two. Um whatever the argument was, whatever it was about, if there's been an argument or a disconnect, what you need to know with their energy is that they, they want to just let all of that go. It's kind of not a consideration because just being with you and bringing things back into balance is overwhelmingly what what is on their mind here. And the thing is, is you want the same, okay? Um... But yeah, there, there, there is this harsh energy in this right now. Um, this is kind of like the event timeline. So it's kind of like the feelings are there, but the events have kind of got in the way of this. Okay. Um, and what you need to know is that they're, they're making their way back towards you. Okay. With this full energy. Absolutely. This is just offloading, whatever it is, whatever the problem's been, they're, they're going to make their way back to you. Let's take a look here at these clarifying cards. Clearance. Yeah, exactly. And success. Oh, wonderful. So, yeah, energies are being cleared. This Five of Swords energy is going to dissipate. Um, especially we've got clearance with the Judgment card. It's just incredible. Um, you know, it really does speak of whatever's gone is gone. It's all being cleared. And, you know, look at this. This is incredible the card of success, you know, it doesn't get much better than this, so you, you're going, going forward, you're looking at, you know, really quite a successful connection here, let's take three overall clarifiers, could have been somebody getting in the way of your connection, okay, with that emperor energy also, too many people in the mix, either side, But there's a realisation coming in here. An absolute realisation. Yeah. 
you both want this. I'm seeing that really strongly. Bring it back, you know, but just you two coming back together. But there's this, something's got to be offloaded here. Definitely, whatever, whatever way that resonates, something's being offloaded. Okay, yeah, Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, beautiful, Four of Wands, coming out of conflict and going towards clarity, okay, for you two, absolutely, working hard, um, we could be looking at, you know, uh, there's, I'm seeing here strongly that there's, um, there could be, one or both of you could be an air sign, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy here. Um, don't need to be. Uh, but yeah, but you, you, you're coming out of conflict. You're heading towards your clarity. You both want this brand new beginnings. Okay. Um, new way of tackling this. And really working hard towards your goal to be together. You too. If, if you two have been in an established relationship, um, you're going to come back together, okay? We've got this four of wands reunion, okay? It's literally the happy home card, okay? This is wonderful. And it's the card of celebration, okay? It's just beautiful energy. Coming out of conflict, going towards your clarity, understanding each other more, working hard at your relationship, to create the, the happy home, to uh, reunite uh, and to clear the negative energy. The negative energy is going to be cleared, okay? And, you know, heading towards a really successful connection here. It's just beautiful. Okay. Um, if you found this reading resonated with you, what I've decided to do is uh, link another of my free YouTube readings. Uh, it's the first link in the description box below and the title of that reading is Does He or She Miss Me? And What's Next Next For Us? And it's for the whole month of September. So, um, you know, it, if you did uh, find this reading helpful, maybe, you know, you could go, you know, click on that next reading. And um, I always forget to mention this, but if you did find this helpful, I'd be so appreciative if you did like, share and subscribe. So now I'm going to go ahead. Oh, and also I'll be back in approximately 48 with the next 48. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead with the set of cards number three. So now I'm going ahead with a set of cards number three. The title of this reading is You and Them, The Next 48. So just as I place the cards down, I'd quickly like to mention if you'd ever like a highly personalised video recorded reading with me, all of the details to book are in the description box below. You can book via Etsy or via PayPal. I also offer a, a video recorded five question reading, um, uh, which is uh, delivered to you within 24 hours. And again, all of the details to book are in the description box below. So now I'd really like to go ahead with this reading. Uh, the title of this reading is You and Them, the next 48 hours, the energies between you and possible developments. So this card here represents you and your energies in this connection. This card here represents them and their energies in this connection. Your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, your present together, your future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. This is the wis uh, card from the Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle deck. And this is a card from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck. And both of these decks just have some wonderful channeled messages. So let's go ahead. You and them, the next 48. You and your energies in this connection. Them and their energies in this connection. Okay, uh, so 
you're being represented by the King of Swords. You could straight out be a strongly a Libra. You don't need to be um, a Libra uh, coming across very strongly. Also Gemini Aquarius. But you are a person who, who right now is trying to figure this all out, okay? I feel as though you really want to um, sort of take the lead here. Okay, kind of, you, you really want to move forwards in this connection. That, that's what's coming through here very strongly. Um, and you, but you, you realise that it's, it's not as simple as you, you were kind of hoping it was going to be. There's more to this, okay? Um, there's more to it than you ever thought. Th th this is what's coming through. Uh, and it's going to take some mental Olympics, okay? Th this is just what's coming through here. Uh, they're being represented by strength. Wonderful. So... This is good. Um, this means that there's, there's a hell of a strong feeling from them towards you. Let's put it that way. It's major arcana energy. Um, what it can mean is that there's, there's something they've got to overcome before they can make some kind of real moves towards you. So be aware of that. There could well be something that they've got to do first. That That's just what's coming through here. Um, Let's take a look at your energies towards them. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, their energies towards you. The Sun card. Incredible. This is beautiful. Uh, they're, they're, both of their sort of energy sectors in this reading are major arcanas. So you need to know that the, their feelings towards you, their energies towards you, exceptionally powerful. Okay, we've got Strength and the Sun. You, you make them very happy. Okay, you fill their heart with joy here and they're really they're, they're kind of determined okay in in coming towards you absolutely you want a firm foundation with them your energy towards them being the ace of pentacles their energies towards you wow you, you i feel like you just make overwhelmingly whatever's gone on with you two you make each other happy yeah you both want this Let's take a look at the past position. The Hermit energy. Yeah. King of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups. Okay, for a, a portion of you, this is off and on and extremely passionate. That's what's coming across. Absolutely. You know, it's kind of one, it's one of these relationships that is so profound it's so strong um that that your you, it makes you both hypersensitive okay uh, and um you know with this hermit card it's kind of like because of the energies it's kind of like you're up here one day you're down the next you're up the next you're down the next off and on off and on because you're so sensitive because the energies are so strong and the love is so strong right at the core of this reading we've got the king of pentacles really telling me this is a solid connection but um there's there's in and out here there's off and on there's promises and then no fruition okay um it's 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 yeah it's you know we've got this nine of cups going forwards so hopes, wishes, and dreams possibly being manifested. And then we've got the Eight of Cups. So confusion, feeling abandoned, walking away, uh, or, be, or, or, someone, or the other person walking away from you, or you walking away. And it's kind of like, I feel like you're trying to figure out how to break this cycle, okay? Th this is what I'm seeing. I feel there's, there's a, you know, it's a repetitive cycle going on here, okay? Um, let's take a look. Alchemist and cycles. So yeah, it's 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 about birthing this relationship in a new way. Okay, we've got the alchemist card. It's about uh, tackling it from a different angle because there's a cycle here. No matter what's going on, there's a cycle that needs to be broken for you to. Because right now it's not serving you. I feel like you're up one day and you're down the next. Up one day, down the next. Um, but you both want each other. Absolutely. 
but there's a cycle here that needs to be broken. Okay, let's take three cards. It's kind of like the want is there. Absolutely. Oh, beautiful. The world. You two could be at a distance from each other. Okay. I'm seeing that. Um, there's, there's, uh, there's more waiting involved here. Okay. There could, there could, there could have been a, a breakup. Um, with that world card with next to the eight of cups. Um, for some of you, okay, you're going to have to be the one to step away, okay, to, to bring this full circle, to break this cycle. It's kind of like, I feel there needs to be some time apart here, okay? I don't see the, there being a reconnect in the next 48 hours. And in fact, what I'm seeing for you is that you need to pull back and disconnect from this for now, okay? This is what's going to maybe break this cycle once and for all. This is what I'm seeing. It's going to break the cycle to uh, sort of recreate the connection in the way that it should, that, that, that it should be, okay? Yeah, you, for those of you this is resonating with, you know, it's kind of like telling me that deep down, you know you've got to pull away from this connection right now, okay? You've got to pull away um, to stop this repetitive cycle. And it's going to be difficult. But I feel you know it's what's going to turn this connection around. Yeah, it's a new way of tackling it. Oh, and that's what's going to bring them back towards you. Okay, so it's about you looking at this through fresh eyes, okay? Um, tackling it a different way, disconnecting. With, with a very, kind of forcefully, okay, taking a big step back and, you know, it's, it's what's going to work because this is you working with intention with that King of Swords because whatever's been going on, it's not serving you, okay, um, and you know that, so you know now it's time to step back and this is going to be a, a, a new thing for you, okay? Uh, but that is what's going to do, this is what's going to bring that this loving connection to the end of this repetitive cycle and actually um, give it brand new life, okay? So there we go. Um, I really hope that you found this helpful. Um, what I've decided to do um, is uh, link another free reading. Uh, the title of that reading is Does He or She Miss Me and What's Next for Us? And it's for the month of September. And it's the first link in the description box below. Uh, and if you found this reading helpful, I'd be so grateful if you could like, share and subscribe. And I will be back in approximately 48 hours. Okay then, bye for now.